Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's an interesting way of converting to monochrome that um, viewer Hans uh, alerted me to, which is apparently a traditional way, but I hadn't met it. So here it is, and also a few variations on it. The basic principle is you take a layer, Control J to duplicate it, Control I to invert it, now then, if I go to the opacity and I just take that to 50%, it goes grey. Why is that? And it's because it's splitting between the effectively the positive and the negative, and it's like minus 1 plus 1 is 0, and minus 50 plus 50 is 0, and so it sort of cancels itself out into grey. Now the trick then is to go to the here, to the blend mode, and go down to the colour, and you get rather an interesting monochrome effect here where you get fairly strong um, effects of you know the the contrast within it however this has a slight problem if you look at the top here if where there is, is some saturation there's a bit of blue saturation up there it comes through as color but that's not a problem and i'm going to do this slightly differently so i don't need to have to put in another layer so i'll go back to the beginning this time I'm just going to go to Adjustments and Invert. So I just need another uh, layer here which uses up a lot less file space. And I can do the same sort of thing here, 50%. And go down here to, where is it? The old colour. And I've got the same effect there, got a bit of bleed through there. I can do two things with this. One is I can get rid of that if I want to, but I can also play with that idea that if you add saturation, it kind of gets a bit of interesting. And I can do it by adding two HSL layers. So I'm going to go back here and go to HSL, and that puts one above. And I go back again here and put in another HSL. And this time I'm going to drag it down to the bottom so it effectively occurs first before anything else. So the top one, if I want to, I can just turn down the saturation and that fixes that little bit coming through there. The other picture doesn't change. The rest of the picture says I turn this up and down. It doesn't affect it. It's not affect it unless you go all the way up. But that lets that off there. Also, if I go to the bottom one now and say, hey, so if I get saturation, that comes through as colour. What does that look like? So I can increase the saturation and I get sort of interesting colour beginning to creep into things. If I get an effect like this, I go, mm, I don't like the yellow bit there, but the rest is okay. I can always go to the yellow control here and turn that down to make that disappear. But I'm not going to do that for the moment because I'm just for now going to go back to the original, go to the top HSL and desaturate everything. So now I'm going to stay in black and white. Go back to that first HSL and say, let's try playing with things now. What if I go up here and I go all the way down here? Now I'm getting different types of, of, of black and white. So down here I've got a pale sky and a dark tree. And if I go up the other end of the spectrum for saturation, I've got a pale tree and a darker sky. And what if I start playing with the other controls? Because I'm changing the underlying colour with the hue, that means the whole thing's going to shift. And look at the way this shifts about here. So I go down to this end here, I've got a, a very dark foliage here and a light sky. And that's because, you look at the, the wheel here, on the inside of what it was, so where it was the green and yellow, it's now blue, and blue comes out dark as a dark colour, that gives you the leaves. The sky, which has got a lot of cyan in it, but when you get round to blue, then it's into the yellow. So the blue sky, then that gives you that yellow, which is the lighter colour. That's the one which is influencing us here. So there we go. There we got a interesting way to change colour altogether uh, and create a monochrome and a way to play around with how that looks. Uh, the, the luminosity, by the way, in case you're curious, all that does it push it towards black and it pushes it towards white. So generally, you, though you might tweak it a bit, I wouldn't bother too much with that one. 
Anyway, there we go. That was an interesting one. And thank you, Hans, for the original tip. Goodbye, and thank you very much for watching.